So I am currently unemployed. What? During this uh, sabbatical or this time of unemployment, I definitely have been filling my time up more with YouTube, oh, with content creation. But to be clear and answer the question within the thumbnail, no, I did not quit my job for YouTube. But wait, there's more. During this time, this is what I have learned and what I have experienced. Now, for those wondering, you know, what might have happened with my job, why did I leave it? To make a long story short, wow. And that's pretty much what happened. During this time, I've been focusing on YouTube. Um, for those that might have been watching my channel or familiar with my content, uh, my goal is to eventually be able to have my talents and my giftings be my main source of income. You know, creating multiple revenue streams. YouTube is one of those methods. I've really had a lot more time on my hands you know so i am actively looking for employment but during this time i've taken the opportunity to work on my brand and, and kind of imagining or seeing what it would feel like or what my day-to-day -day would be like you know if i was a content creator you know and it's a dream come true keep in mind i haven't really been making any money off of this during this time but just the freedom that it's allowed me, it's given me to navigate my life and my family situation. You know, I'm a husband I'm, and I'm a father and my kids, they're homeschoolers. Uh, they've been homeschooling their whole lives, you know, so pre-COVID and all that, I'm just a weirdo. But it allows me the opportunity to kind of be involved more with my family. You know, having so many children, I have seven kids. Damn! With me working 40 hours a week, it will leave my wife up to the bulk of kind of the hands-on with them. And being able to have more free time, I'm able to get a better view and respect for what she does to help more, be interactive. You know, sometimes I had this stubborn, stupid mind frame and mindset, you know, she's the woman, she does this, I'm the man, I do this. Are you dumb? But I love being able to help and interact and mix and and be part of it you know part of a big reason i've wanted to be an entrepreneur was i always wanted to have a bigger hand within uh the homeschooling of my kids you know i i actually used to want to be a teacher i was going to college back in the day and i was going to go for elementary education but i don't even think i lasted my freshman year before i dropped out you failed this city this time that i've been off i've essentially almost been working 12 hour days creating content you know working on building this brand so it's like this is even harder work than a nine to five the difference with this is that it's something that I enjoy it's fulfilling helping people but being able to pour into something that is mine and my own is a whole different feeling you know and my, my wife's been doing it you know by herself for such a long time a lot of respect for her and what she does I want to be a bigger part of that so being able to experience that and then having a, a bigger respect for content creators Roberto Blake is just somebody that I just look up to just uh, a bunch, you know, and he's somebody that's been, you know, very helpful and very integral in this uh, process for me, you know, kind of trying to get myself on my feet and learn a lot of stuff, even if it's not directly, you know, even he has been, you know, directly uh, providing assistance, but it's, it's a lot, man, you know, and some people look at the the outcome or the aftermath of it, like, you know. Oh, man, they can do what they want to do. All they do is sit in front of a camera and make videos. Trust me, it's more work than any job. And the only difference is, it's work that you enjoy. And it doesn't mean that, you know, 24-7, you're sitting there with a smile on your face, like, ooh, wee, I get out of the video. No, it's like, <laughs> you're doing it and you're like, man, I'm tired of editing this video. But it's just something that you're passionate about. It's, it's your thing. I would love to actually look into the field of content creation or some type of social marketing in my head i'm telling myself i don't have the background for this you know um when in actuality 
I don't know. A lot of my my skills and talents, you know, could be included on a resume, you know, such as my being able to, to produce and create music, being able to edit videos, you know, being able to navigate uh, social media, being able to create posts, being able to, you know, make blogs, things like that, you know, but I've never really looked into to the possibility of that, you know, for me. This time that I've been focusing on content creation, I actually feel like it's a reality for me and it's and it's within grasp. If I put forth the, the effort and the energy that I've been putting forth, even if I'm working, I'm beginning to build like a, a routine and kind of a, a motion of understanding like even if I'm working a 40 hour a week job, I can still can be able to put out one video a week, one quality video a week. And I'm also still able to take on clients to be able to create voiceovers or, or intros or outros for their podcasts or their YouTube channels or audios. If if you're in the need of a podcast intro or anything just like YouTube, the audio you need, music, I got you. Message. Being able to understand and know that, you know, hey, even when I start working, I'll be able to make one good video a week, one high quality video a week, be able to take on, you know, clients with freelancing, you know, and being able to navigate, interact with supporters on my social media channels. It's encouraging. Matter of fact, um, I got a podcast called the Sound of the Rain podcast. And as of now, it focuses on Sound of the Rain Productions, which is the business that I'm building. And, you know, Sound of the Rain Productions right now, we're focusing on doing podcast intros and outros for people. There'll be a link to my Fiverr account within the description, but the podcast is a means to market that and kind of share the journey of how I'm building that business. In addition to that, I'm starting a podcast called um, Sound of the Rain Presents of Sound Health, uh, where I'm sharing my journey of, you know, trying to, to be healthier. Uh, spiritually, physically, mentally, you know, and even being able to kind of just show my kids that the opportunities that are available out there, the world is yours. You know, I'm, I'm 42 years old and, you know, people always say like, if you could go back in time and t talk to your old self, what would you say? What would you do? I'd say you too. <laughs> You know, but no, but in all honesty, I probably wouldn't want to relive life because I think I've gotten to a great point of, of a lot of things that I've learned and experienced and being able to, like, growing is a, is a great part of that. I think if I knew what I know now, the a lot of choices and decisions I wouldn't have made and I wouldn't be the, the person I am today. And I praise God for the person I am today, you know. So, but, content creation, if these things were available when I was younger, I would have been on this. I make music, you know, and I still will be making music, but as far as it being an avenue to provide for me financially, it's too too cluttered and too crowded. As I continue to put things out to kind of build a name within that realm, which will also be advertisement for Sound of the Rain Productions, I see the, the financial opportunities are far greater by me thinking outside of the box. Because music is used in multiple ways, man. Music is not just something people throw their headphones on to listen to. If you go inside of an elevator and elevator music there's music playing somebody sat down at a keyboard or on a guitar and played the music that's, that's being played in that elevator somebody paid them to do that you see what I'm saying? There's avenues and ways to use music to create revenue. And I'm on a mission to find those unique ways. And I'm on a mission to share those with you. So I just wanted to kind of just give a personal update on my life. I'm in a good space. Uh, one of the best spaces that I've been in in a long time. Seriously, and, and it's crazy because certain things in my life you would assume to count me out or think that you know I'm, I'm, at, I'm at the bottom at rock bottom, but sometimes at the bottom you can look up and you have the best clarity. Past couple of days, I've been spending more time with the Lord in prayer and in my word and just spending time with my family, and it's just it's a beautiful thing. And I'm seeing the growth, and I'm, I'm excited to see a year from now, you know, what type of video I'm doing talking about an update of what, you know, Sound of the Rain is or what Sound of the Rain has become. So, you know, definitely look out for that. But I thank you for your time. I thank you for, for listening and paying attention and being part of the journey. Until next time, peace.